there is a culture or rather a virus within the sport that people are afraid to speak about. Huge barrier to the development of the cell in Malaysia. This phenomenon called D. Dealing is basically an agreement that is formed between two parties or more in order to split the prize money of a tournament regardless of the results of the match. No deal. No deal. No deal. No deal. No deal. No deal. No f***ing deal. No deal. No deal. No deal. No deal. No deal. For most, I don't encourage dealing. When they said, Akim, let's deal, I have to follow them. Okay, so where do I begin? Um, to me, futsal is an amazing game uh, and I believe that it's not given the attention and credit that it deserves. Uh, it teaches you so much, not just on the court, but off it as well. So you learn to work hard, you persevere uh, and be resilient in pursuit of your goals. But the funny part of it is that what it also teaches you is that even when you do all the things above, sometimes you don't get the results that you want. Mistakes happen, uh, situations change, but that's the beauty of sport, right? So the only constant is that it's constantly evolving. So this is one of the main things why I love the game so much. How far along has futsal come since you started playing? So I think futsal has come a very, very long way. So when I first started playing, there were not as many teams, uh, tournaments and platforms. But now uh, you look over your shoulder, there are so many teams that have trainings. Uh, there are so many tournaments that are held every week, uh, week in and week out, and there are platforms for players to enjoy the game um, throughout. But there's always been a number of factors, I think, that hold the sport, sport back from growing to a place it could be, right? So one of, uh, there are so many factors, but I would say, I will list down a few. So one, of course, is uh, the political side of things, and then there's allocated government funding. I would say there's also a lack of exposure, media coverage, and maybe even insufficient grassroots development. So I think that, as I mentioned earlier, there are a lot of factors, but I think this is something that has to be solved from the ground up, right? Uh, and at the ground itself, basically at a social level, or a metro or semi-pro level, right? So there is a culture or rather a virus within the sport that people are afraid to speak about, uh, maybe some people are just ignorant of it, uh, but there is a huge, huge barrier uh, to the development of futsal in Malaysia. And it's coming from within the futsal community itself, which is this phenomenon called dealing. So, uh, just so that the viewers have a bit of an understanding, because we are just saying dealing, dealing, right? So, uh, another word that I think could be used for dealing is probably match fixing, right? Mm. It's something like that. Like, it's yeah. a harsher way of putting it, but maybe we have uh, used the word dealing to make it seem not as serious. Like. So you sort of form a bit of a dealing between friends rather than a big word like match fixing. But in essence, it actually is just match fixing. Like. Yeah. Uh, what I know of dealing is they just don't play. Uh, meaning like they just want to... Uh, I mean, something's wrong. Like. I, I feel it's not right. They just want to take the money half-half. They want to split the money half and, and, and go back with that. First thing that he tells me is like they don't really. Uh, maybe they, these people used to be when they were younger. They used to be passionate about the sport. Whereby I mean to deal, you need to reach the finals and all. Means you mean your team needs to be good lah. Yeah. So you won't get to the position to deal in the first place. So I think as they get older, what they lose that passion and then now it's just for the money lah. 
just for the money lah. What do you think about dealing in futsal? Uh, for me, I deal sometimes when I see my friends, but it's not good to deal. It's not good to deal. Uh, so final answer, it's not good to it's deal. It's not good to deal. All Don't right. deal. No deal. No deal. Yeah. some deals whereby they don't even play the semis and finals and uh, agree on whoever takes first or second or third place. Pass inside. Yes. So, no, it depends now. So, this way it's not pressing in. Yes. No, that's it. Yeah, what the fuck is this? So some deals happen whereby they play penalties, uh, some don't even bother with the penalties and maybe just toss a coin and see who is uh, more deservedly taking back the first place or second place. So in other words, in a simpler term, uh, as we all know it, it's match fixing. Lah. Is it such a culture where come? Yeah. yeah, I would think so because it happens uh, almost in every tournament that you see. So even uh, you went with me for one of the yeah. tournaments before this, uh, it is a culture that has become something that is widely accepted and if you go against the norm more often than not you your actions and behaviors are frowned upon more often than the person who is actually doing uh, the act but let's say there's a team that doesn't want to deal so what happens to the team so there are few things that could happen uh, so one of the things is probably along the lines of uh, they decide to either take you out in the court uh, for example like uh, in Malaysian futsal terms I would say they call it parap lah right so parap means basically beating the shit out of you in the court right so if you don't agree to deal they're gonna essentially threaten to break your leg lah. the amount of uh, prize money that is given most of the time isn't like very high Right, so you maybe get 1k, 2k, that kind of thing. But you split it, you're splitting it between 10 people. So yeah. when you split that, it comes down to 100 ringgit, 200 ringgit. But then you have to understand that you're playing a game from 8 a.m. in the morning and you probably play the finals at 6 p.m. So when you play the finals at 6 p.m. and then you lose, you go back with nothing. Yeah. You know, or if you play the semi finals at 4. So you're there from 8 all the way up to 4 and then you get knocked out in the last four or last six or last eight sorry so i think a lot of them don't want to go back empty-handed after having a long day at work uh, but what you must understand is that uh, the essence of sport is winning and losing right so if you don't uh, honor that then what's the purpose in playing at all that is why i think it's still wrong but this is one of the things that i think uh, is the main reason why the dealing culture is so widely accepted because rather than uh, gambling or playing to win they know for a fact okay i just have to make it to the semis or have to make it to the quarters and then okay my job is done so this is one of the main reasons uh. so they need that secondary income to supplement whatever it is that they're doing and from here they they don't want to risk not taking home something so this is the main reason why i think they will do it uh. Batang berjaya! Lee Chia Wei berjaya meletakkan 
One United berada di hadapan. Okay, so what do you think dealing is? Alright, uh, okay. Let me just be honest. I myself grew up playing football. I never believe in all this because during my time playing football, I've never heard of dealings or match fixing. Yeah. Yes, we do. We do see see this during uh, World Cup or Euro, but it's not in in a social social standard. But it's it's a bit sad to see that dealing is already become becoming a culture in social league. But I hope. We can cope this and beat this uh, disgusting culture. Yeah. So, uh, how do you think like uh, this culture has affected like tournament organizations? Okay. Uh, to be honest, I'm not going to mention names, but I've I know there are some big organizers who have done big scale of futsal social league, you okay. know, one day or two, one week tournament. Yeah. But they were they were very bad uh, impact because of this dealing. Uh, due to that, those brands, uh, big other big brands are are not willing to to involve themselves in futsal. It's because of this dealing culture. It, it creates a very bad image. The company, for example. Yeah. Okay. So, um, who do you think is responsible for this? Is it like a player issue, or is it managers? Is it coaches, or what do you think? Okay. Uh, basically, everyone, people who knows is happening, allowing it to happen, organizer who knows. It's going to happen and allowing it to happen. Coaches, managers, and team captains. You know, if you are a captain of a team, if you know you're dealing, please, you should not be a captain of the team. Yeah. So everyone is involved. Yeah. So do you think that this this uh, problem it affects the level of the sport and how does it affect the level of the sport? Okay. Yes. Yeah. It affects badly. For example, uh, myself, I don't do all this one day tournament because I don't believe in this one day tournament. One one of one of it is because of this dealing culture, which I don't like doing. I don't like to uh, to get involved in this dealing thing, and if I'm organizing, I do not want to be part. I do not want any teams to be part of this dealing as well. So that's why I I refrain myself from doing one day tournament. Yeah. If other other organizer wants to do it, they are free to host, but I will give them a very direct approach saying that I don't want any dealings in RKS because it's not right. So do you think it it uh affects the level of the sport whereby players don't know how to cope under pressure. Yes, definitely because you see, uh, entering it because dealings also sometimes start from quarter final itself. Yeah. Because once you are in the quarter, you know you just have eight teams uh, with the prize money. If it's a big prize pool money, you're just sharing among eight teams. So from there, uh, social players, for example, who are very capable and talented to play in a very high standard, being in a quarter final or you know the team has deal, so you just play for fun. So from that onwards, you know quarter semi. Where you can basically train yourself in terms of mental, a mental game, but you know it's already deal. So why bother playing it properly? Because I've seen semi and semi and final games. You no, know, you just go on playing penalty. Yeah, I mean it's a rubbish attitude, lah. Yeah, yeah. But um, so what do you think if you had a solution? What would be the best way to curb this issue? Okay, solution is for example to be very strict from from day one. Like for example, uh, if the teams who are playing in RKS Super Cup and Premier Cup, they know how how we are, how we organize and coordinate our league. If there's any dealing involved, we disqualify them automatically. We have done it during Ramadan Cup. Uh, there were two teams involved in dealing. We have banned them. The players involved, uh, they are not allowed to play any games in RKS, uh, any leagues, or also uh, one day tournament. They are not allowed to play, even though. They try to appeal, they try to slow talk with me. I just say no is a no because if you have done it, you will do it again. Yeah. So you think that uh, it's quite a difficult culture for us to fix, but someone has to start somewhere, Correct. right? Correct. And at the end of the day, if we are truly uh, in the direction of the development of the sport, we have to do what we have to do, lah. Correct. Right. And although it's a fight that I think is uh, some people might say it's an uphill battle, it's a battle that we choose nonetheless, lah. Correct. As I said earlier, everyone is involved. If there is a there is a party which is willing to fight against this, I'm with that party anytime. Okay, I'm I will give my hundred percent commitment to to curb this dealing issue from uh, from the basic till we fight it entirely. Uh, what we've done uh, with this campaign is we've visited a few tournaments uh, and. I think you'll be able to see what goes on behind the scenes. So in one of the tournaments that we've been in, I think we just uh, went last week, uh, and I spoke to some organizers, some referees, some players, and let's just see what they have to say about it.